Hey guys, what's up? Connor here from TPGS and in this playlist we're going to be showing you how to make a login form and a registration form as well as how to use that with a database and with the PHP toadin and this is going to be broken down into a number of tutorials in the playlist so if the tutorial title is something that you've already done you don't need to watch that video because that's all we'll be covering in that video so for example if a video was on how to create a database and you already had a database you won't need to watch it because you've already made a database and that's all we're going to cover is how to make one in this one we're going to cover how to make the database and we're also going to cover the registration form uh, in PHP as well as the design of the registration form so if you haven't made your database and you haven't um, created a style then this is the video that you want to watch so let's get started Okay, to start with, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using uh, WAMP, which um, is a Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP server. If you're running Linux, you can use LAMP, and if you're running Mac, you can use MAMP. And basically, they're just the same things, but they vary between the uh, operating systems, respectively. So, for example, you couldn't use WAMP on a Mac, and vice versa. So once you've installed WAMP, and we ha we're not going to go through the videos on how to do it on this one, you need to go to localhost forward slash php in my admin. Uh, now WAMP will automatically run here for you. And once you bring it up, you'll have all your databases on the left hand side, and then you'll have these ones here. So we're going to create a new database, and we're going to call this uh, tutorial. Okay, now in our tutorial database, we're going to create a table called users. Um, now what we need to do is we need to think how many fields we're going to need. So for example, I'm going to um, register the user with an email address, um, a password, and that should be it. So we're going to have the ID, which will be one field, the email, which will be another field, and password and we'll create a fourth field called salt and I'll show you why a little bit later on so we'll create four fields and in the first one we're going to call this ID and it's going to be an integer with the length of about three let's just scroll around here it's going to be primary key select primary on that and then select auto increment now in this one, we're going to put email, which is going to act as our username. Put a varchar, and we'll put this to 140 characters. Password, we can set as a varchar, and we'll put that to 250, or varchar. And salt, which again I'll explain in a later tutorial, we set again as a varchar of 10 hit save and this automatically generates our users tutorial um, database in our sorry our users table in our tutorial database so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our PHP designer and you can use notepad plus plus if you want or dreamweaver I'm just using this because I've used it for quite a while and what we're going to do now is we're going to create our style and we're going to create our HTML. So first things first, this is our dot type. If you have something like Dreamweaver or in this case PHP Designer 7, it will automatically generate the dot type for you. If you have Notepad++, I think there's a plugin available to do that. If you don't, you can just pause the video now um, and copy and paste that in. So we're going to change the title here to register. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create our CSS file. So do Control N for new, and select CSS, and it's going to create a body tag for us. So I'm just going to make a basic design here, and you can use this design as you wish. It's very very basic though, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, margin of zero. And what this is going to do is basically just going to move the um, page that we'll create later, the content area, up to the top rather than having a gap. I'll show you the two differences as to why we do that. So that's fine for the. Oh, no, what we'll do is we'll do font dash family. And what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using Doodle's Avro font. Uh, if you go to doodle.com forward slash web fonts, you'll be able to download 
uh, the font, or Arvo rather. And I'm going to copy this HTML for later. And this is the usage, and I'll show you how you use that. So I'm going to do font dash family, um, Arvo, and then I'm going to create a fallback of sans serif. And what that means is if the browser doesn't support Arvo, it's going to fall back to sans serif. Now I'm going to make a dot page, and this should have a background of white, a border of 5 pixels, I'm just going to change the tone of that border to invert it a little bit. Uh, width, we're going to set to 75% of the page, and we're doing a margin dash left. What this is going to do is going to align it to the center on Mozilla. It doesn't necessarily work in Internet Explorer. It does work on Mozilla and Safari and Opera and that kind of stuff. Um, I think that's all we need for that one. Oh, and I'll add a padding as well. Uh, 15 pixels should do it. I'm going to save this in our top folder as style.css. And now what we need to do is we need to link in these two styles. So first I'm going to paste in <coughs> excuse me, the uh, Doodle API font. And now I'm going to do link rel equals style sheet href equals style dot css and that's just going to basically go ahead and call our style sheet that we've just created here and then we can implement the um, classes or uh, ids that we create in here so for example we can do div uh, uh, class not id equals page and then we can do h1 align to center register and then we'll save this as index.php. And the reason why we're saving it as index.php is so that when we run it through our WAMP server, it will execute some PHP code. So for example, if I just go to localhost forward slash tut, <coughs> you can see we have our registration form. I just move this over a bit. You can see we have our page. This is registered. Now, the thing with the um, style sheet. to add a solid on there. If I take away this margin here, I can show you what happens with the page. You see how we get this little gap at the top? Let's move this up a bit. You can see how we get this little gap here. Well, the gap's fine. You can keep the gap in if you want. I don't enjoy having the gap in all that much. So I'm just going to undo that and leave that in. And that just moves everything up to the top of the page. And then we can create our form underneath. So that's the style of the registration page and inevitably the um, loading page. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover actually creating our pages themselves. So we're actually going to cover creating the registration form and creating the loading form. So make sure you check out that.